When I was your age, I loved these candy machines. I mean, when we would go out to eat, I would bug my parents over and over again until they would finally give me money for candy. I mean, even if they just gave me this small coin, to me, this was like a million dollars. And I would take this coin and I would run over to the candy machine and I would get a huge blessing. I would get this candy and you cannot go wrong with candy. But you know there were times when I would turn the handle and I'd open the flap with eager anticipation only to find a few pieces of candy. I mean, sure, it was a blessing, but it was a pretty disappointing one. And you know, it was made even worse when I would watch my friends use the same candy machine and they would come out with way more candy, way more pieces of candy. I mean, that wasn't fair. Why did they get so much more than me? And they put in the same amount of money. You know, sometimes life can feel like that. We do everything right, but the results and the things that happen to us and to our family, maybe, they don't always feel like a blessing. Sometimes life can feel like a bit of a disappointment. Maybe we have challenges of like losing a loved one or, or friends and family losing their jobs or challenges in our family dynamics. There's lots of things that can sometimes make us compare our life or be disappointed in our life when we look at others. And even though when disappointing or sad things happen and we see the way that other people might live, it's okay to be upset. But as Christians, God teaches us that we must remember and celebrate the good things that God has done for us and the good things that he's done in our life. You see, even when life is difficult or disappointing, we can all find things to thank God for. Today, as we remember and celebrate, we're remembering and celebrating God's good and abundant blessing. You see, God is such a good God. The Bible says that he's our father and he gives us good gifts. He blesses us abundantly. And sometimes we lose perspective of God's blessing and we take for granted the many good things he's actually done for us. We could look at our lives and think, oh, it's not that great. Or we could look at someone else's and think we're miserable because we don't have what they have. Or we could choose instead to remember and celebrate and be thankful for the many good things that God has given us. You see, growing up, I used to struggle with this a lot. I used to see the houses that my friends lived in. I wondered why our house wasn't bigger. I would wonder why we didn't get to go on vacations like other families. I wondered why we didn't buy the best clothes or the nicest cars. And all of that comparison made me lose sight of all the good and incredible things that God had given us. The Israelites remembered and celebrated God's good and abundant blessing with the Feast of Trumpets. They celebrated and remembered God's goodness when it was good year and when it wasn't always a great year. They always found things to be thankful for. So I challenge you, ask your parents, ask your family, talk to people and ask them to tell you stories of God's abundant blessing. I know God's blessed them abundantly and you will be blessed by hearing those stories.